Hello and welcome to The Versatile Artist. Today's video is for all who feel inspired by minimalism, but overwhelmed about it at the same time when you look around in your home. You see these people owning only 40 items in a totally empty room. People who can move places getting all the possessions in a normal sized car. Then there are so many interpretations of minimalism. How should you know what is right for you? I hear you. I'm in the middle of it. I've been overwhelmed many times by this. In this video, I introduce a gentle approach to reach your goal over time that is flexibly navigating through the ups and downs of a process that can raise all sorts of emotions. It's finally blossoming. Here. Tiny little flower. My citrus tree. I've had it for years. And now it's blossoming. Minimalism seems to be very trendy at the moment. And while I gravitate towards a more minimalistic lifestyle, I have a very long way to go. And I'm not sure I will make the whole way I, I don't know we'll see I mean watching all these minimalism pros is definitely very inspiring it's super motivating but it's also overwhelming when we first moved into this flat we merged two households together and the things that we had to pack and unpack was insane we had so many duplicates and the furniture there was so much furniture and we didn't know what to do with it my husband and i made the pack that if we ever move again then with a fifth of the boxes that we had to move the last time and last year we watched marie kondo series on netflix and that inspired a huge declutter in this home and even though we never finished the process really and we didn't really follow the method to the T. We have kept up a habit that we just declutter whenever the bug bites us. And I think that this approach has been much gentler on our sanity. Taking it slow means a whole new level of learning for me because I am a person who can become pretty impatient. When I have a goal, I want it done as quickly as possible. I want to see the results. I'm really driven then. But what tends to happen is that I exhaust myself if I'm not careful. I can become frustrated when things aren't moving quickly enough. When I don't find a way to clear all surfaces of any clutter. When there's still too much furniture, but I've yet to come up with a solution. To make a long speech short, I've had to learn to understand that this process takes longer than I want it to be, and I have to give my mind the time to keep up with my ambitions. Through making peace with it, I've also realized that minimalism is probably not even the right term for me. Of course, there are a lot of interpretations of what minimalism can be, but for me the word simplicity has a more holistic ring to it and reflects that this process really has to start from within before it can transform the outside. But that's just my own interpretation and I think everyone should be able to call it whatever they like. Before you throw yourself into decluttering your possessions and just be warned that this can happen your life, make sure to have an idea why you want to do it. Why do you want to achieve minimalism or simplicity? Is it because you're someone who moves frequently? Is cleaning and tidying up taking too much time of your life? Would you like to downsize your flat to save money for other things? 
Do you want to get rid of memories that are holding you back? Or do you simply feel suffocated by the things around you and you just want to develop a better focus on what is really important for you? Then think about what your goal should look and feel like. Do you want to achieve empty surfaces? Maybe even less furniture standing around in your rooms? A great way to visualize your goal and to keep motivated is to create something like a vision board that you can look at and that will help you to stay motivated. You can use Pinterest for that, but I prefer to use actual paper for that and work with my hands creating it, choosing pictures, cutting them out, placing them on a big piece of paper. Give yourself enough time for doing it. 30 minutes is a good time frame. The paper vision board is a very powerful tool that helps you to focus your goal. Therefore, I would recommend this over a digital version. It also has the benefit that you can stick it somewhere where you can see it regularly. The next steps will be the first action steps and I will discuss them in a separate video. Earlier I raised the question what this should look and feel like. This is an important part of striving for a more simplistic life. What should it feel like? To me a more simplistic life is inextricably linked to practicing living in the moment and feeling grateful for what we have. Whenever I feel disconnected or stressed, nature is the one single thing that will always help me to put things back into perspective. It's the simplest thing to do to just go outside, feel the underground under your shoes, changing from an asphalted street to an uneven earth road to shift our focus to the abundance nature is providing for us. A wild meadow provides you with tasty leaves and flowers for your salad. Now that we are in late summer, you can pick blackberries and either snack on them as you go or add them to your dessert later that day. Take a moment to sit down and take a few deep breaths. Enjoy the view. See, smell, taste, feel the abundance around you. What else do you really need? It's possible and likely that not everyone in your household shares your ambition for a more simplistic life. It will be difficult at times when others leave their things everywhere while all you want is a clean and clear surface. As you want them to respect your lifestyle, living with others means you also have to respect theirs. Only because you decided to live a more simplistic life doesn't mean everyone has to follow you. Except when they continue doing it their way. It's not a conspiracy against your endeavors. Living as an example will sooner or later influence them, but this shouldn't be your goal. You're doing this for yourself. Do it as well as possible and the concentric circles of your doings will expand organically. And if they don't or not fast enough, then just focus on and maintain those areas that you can keep simplistic and enjoy what you have achieved. See you next week.